Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 83 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. We are in Velika, so we're going to go ahead and talk to the Sorcerer Trainer here since we just hit 46. Looks like we get a new level of Ice Needle, that's awesome. Uh, Magma Bomb, also awesome. And Glacial Retreat, so perfect. All abilities that I use a lot. So those are those are my main three abilities, I'd say, other than Fireball. Let's go ahead and check these Sorcerer Glyphs, see if there are any new ones that we should get. Um, oh, Glyph of Power Link. Burning Breath. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, mm, I don't really use Burning Breath enough to make it worth that because this just increases power and defect duration so let's see if we can whoop, nope i want to look at our glyphs we have six glyph points available to us so let's see what we can put in uh we could increase our casting speed of fire blast that's pretty cool um we could Increase endurance and such with our mana barrier. 30% chance to increase cooldown. Ooh, increased chance of debuff by 30% when hitting multiple targets. That's that's pretty good. Mana siphon, flame barrage. We don't really use flame barrage, so down the road we may. Hmm. Reduced mana cost of our Void Pulse. How much does it cost currently? A thousand. And we could reduce that by 250. That might not be a bad idea. Um, ooh. 30% chance to eliminate cooldown on Magma Bomb. I like that. We'll go ahead and grab that because that will let us sometimes cast many magma bombs at once. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. How did I not get that before? Alright. Well, we are uh, all skilled up now, so we're going to go ahead and head back to uh, Akarum on the other continent and continue questing there. Uh, see if we can wrap up the rest of these quests in that uh, creepy basement. So, I'll be right back with you guys in a second. Okay, so we are loading up the Catacombs of Misery here, and here we are. Alright, so first things first, I do need to deal with this Men here of Vitality, but I'm going to do that after we go and collect the Aether Duct and kill some Mirconi Magisters. Uh, sorry, Mechanari Magisters. So, we're going to race along here. And I'm actually going to duck down here because I believe two of the Magisters should be down here. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Having the double, uh, double Magma Bomb. It's very powerful. Alright. Or I should say it has the chance to be very powerful because it's not always going to give me double casts, but uh, when it does, it's pretty darn awesome. Ah, here we go. So Aether Duct is this, like, crystal stuff. So I gotta get the rest of that over here. Um, hmm. I'll have to kill these Disc Reapers. The other nice benefit to having the chance to eliminate cooldown is that if I miss, I get another chance sometimes. So, And it's not a small chance either. 30% is uh, quite a sizable chance, so that's definitely good. 
All right, let's see here. Oh, that worked out well. All right, good. And we only need three more Aether Duct, and we need to kill two more Mechor... Mekonari Magisters. Now, we will get, uh, and we have gotten a number of quests sort of leading us into... Oh, here we go. Now my shield's up. What you gonna do now? Ha ha ha. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's head back the other way. Try to get more Aether Duct back this way. Here's another one, good. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, we've gotten a number of quests now. Uh, these ones for the Necromancer's Tomb. That is a dungeon, and it would take more than just us solo, obviously, to bring that dungeon down. As a result, we may or may not end up doing that. Uh, for now, I'm going to shy towards we're not going to do it, but we will see, and if, you know, we end up running it with a guild group or somebody from the guild wants to run us through it or something down the road, then, you know, cool. That, uh, that might happen. We'll just have to see uh, how things go. Ooh. I think mounting up is probably one of the things that's most commonly laggy for me. And I don't, I don't really know why, but it is. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see, but we probably will not end up doing the dungeon. Uh, just for time's sake. Alright. Uh, although, I do want to get the story quest done, so we'll see. We'll touch the stone. Ooh, hello. The goddess Mistel greets you, mortal. Oh, okay. Hi, Mistel. Courage has earned you this vision. Mm hmm Look. A nightmare has trapped Westonia's hero, whom they call Kaidun. No. Rescue Kaidun before the nightmare claims him. Okay. So, you know, part of this whole quest line would be to go in there and rescue Kaidun, so. Alright. Um, we gotta go to the research facility entrance. So, this will probably. Oh, dang it. Can we jump over this? Yes, we can. Alright. Um, this will probably be the last thing that we do in here, is just going and identifying the entrance to the Necromancer's Tomb, and then, uh, I think we're going to head onwards to our next story quest, which is to meet up with Freya in Frontera. So, we will be moving on to that, uh, any moment now, I suspect. If we can avoid all of these enemies, that is. And this way, the minimap is absolutely invaluable in these situations, considering this place is pretty much a maze, and the minimap makes it much easier to navigate than it would otherwise be. There's like a ridiculous amount of blood all over the place, it's kind of gross. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, looks like we gotta go down over here. So we'll head down here, and past these guys, I guess. Yeah, we're able to avoid them. Alright, we found the entrance to Tulsa's research facility. So the next step would be to take the teleportal in and do that, but we are going to instead go ahead and pop a safe haven teleport scroll and uh, 
Ooh, I need to remember to put on this new ring that we have. We have... Wait a second. Yes. We have a better ring than the ones that we've had in the past, so we need to wear that. I need to remember to put it on. Uh, so yeah, we'll... We'll probably come back at a later date to, uh get that dungeon done, perhaps uh, the episode after this or something, I will queue up and, and wait on that. So let's see, we have a ring here with 91 and 59, that's better than 84 and 54, so we're going to unequip our Citadel Signet and equip the Ring of Web Chambers. So good, good, good. And our Blood Compass is better than this misplaced wheel that we got as a quest reward, I believe. Yeah, can't trade, etc. Alright. So, in that case, we are, for the moment, done in Westonia. And as a result, our next quest is going to be... this one. Freya's Fury. So we need to go meet Freya in Frontera. So let's go ahead and Hop Pegasus over to Frontera, see what's up with this new zone. Flight points, and Frontera is in Val Palrada. And I don't exactly know when we would do Bleak Rock and Frost Reach. Um, none of our quests took us down that way. It looks like Bleak Rock is another town, and it's got like a cleric and the tactics instructor and and all that stuff so I, I don't even really know when we're gonna go there or if this is a higher you know if that's a higher level zone or something but uh, down the road we may end up there so we'll see goodbye Akaram goodbye Westonia Goodbye, creepy giant citadel. It was fun, I guess. This is actually... I really do like the way that this area looks. I like a lot about it, just because it's so... I don't know, it, it works well. It looks really neat. The environments all blend neatly, and there's a lot of elevation changes, which make it very dynamic. Um, it's not all on the same flat level, which is kind of cool. Wow, it's neat seeing Alamanthia in the distance. And away we go, into the Stargate. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Alright, so we should be able to see our first glimpses of Frontera any moment now. Although I really find it hard sometimes to judge exactly how long these Stargate things are going to take. Sometimes they take forever. Like this one seems like it's taking a decent amount longer than normal. And I don't really know why. But I'm hearing crickets. Ah, okay, here we go. Wow. Look at this. This is... There's all like thin rock platforms. Are those just floating? Oh no, they are on pillars of sorts. But lots of vines, lots of jungly sorts of trees. This is awesome. Huh. Very cool. I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to exploring this area, certainly. Alright, discovered Frontera. Wow, we got a whole new town here. Let's see what's out here. Uh, looks like we got Mysterium. They've got these magical banner things. Oh, that's so cool. All right, and heading up in this way, the magical fountain in the center of town. Cool, 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 cool. And tactics instructors, etc. Uh, no specialty store or tactics instructors here, it seems. 
and Freya. Here we go. Freya's Fury. I understand. All right. Speak with Tirolota at the entrance to the quarantine village. All right, will do. I want to see just real quick uh, another loop around, see if there's any other quests that are roughly the same. They may send us also to the quarantine village. Because usually we get our story quest and then we also get uh, one or two others that send us to the same type of area. So let's see. Banker. Merchant. Cool. All right, let's see where we have to go now. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go out the top of Frontera. So that we can do... Oh, here we go. Llama. Unwelcome guests. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Speak with Tirloda at the entrance to the quarantine village. So, huh. Both of these uh, have us go to the same person. It's always good to look around for that type of thing, because you never know. They, they'll they usually try to make it so that you're getting multiple quests pointing you in the same direction. Hmm, looks like we got some spore walker creatures. Gorillas, that's, that's new. Nope, can't blink through the gate. We'll just destroy it. There we go. Our bomb actually went totally over the gate, so that was a little useless. Alright, here we go. Tier Lota. Unwelcome guests. Yes. Freya's Fury. What's the matter? A blessing in disguise. Attention. Yep. Alright. Oh wow. Lots of quests. Fortune favors the patient. Alright, so. I'm guessing we gotta go through gear. Alright, cool. Slaying the Selvaras. Oh, we clearly gotta kill these guys. And they are level 45, so even not doing the dungeon looks like we are pretty much right in line with where we should be for this region. Uh, level 46 puts us in a good spot. So let's see. Plentiful Essence of Ice. That's exciting. I think Essence of Ice is what we've previously gathered, but our Essence Gathering is continuing to go up, I believe. Essence of Ice caps us out around uh, 250 Gathering. Alright. Another Mutant Worker down. Looks like we gotta... We gotta kill... 15 of the mutated people. Oh, that one's dead, okay. A crayon rune. Hmm. Alright, well, let's keep, uh, keep exploring inward since there's probably more. Lots of magma bombs, wow. Excellent. And magma bomb is fairly very inexpensive for how powerful it is. Especially in AoE situations. At least I believe it to be inexpensive. I, I'm pretty sure it's less than our Void Pulse. Let's see. Yes, it's only 340 mana and has a base damage of almost 600. Uh, while well, Void Pulse has a thousand mana cost, so three times the mana roughly, and only about two times the damage. A little more than two times. So if we can get uh, multiple Magma Bombs, it'll actually be basically as effective as a Void Pulse for less or only a little more mana, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see. Looks like we got more mutated people up here. I still wonder if uh, the distance from the center of the explosion affects how much uh, damage enemies take from Magma Bomb. 
Because it seems like they take pretty consistent damage, no matter if they're right in the center or sort of off to the side. But it's a little hard to tell. Alright, let's see here. We've got Crazed Polykinds and a Guardian Aberration. Fortunately, the Crazed Polykinds look like they go down really easily. Oh, what is that? It looks like an Easter egg. And not like the hidden in the game kind, but like a like a broken model. I've heard that this uh, that's not just a problem with our game. That's uh, pretty consistent for everybody. I'm a little surprised that they haven't fixed it actually. Um, maybe it's more difficult to fix than it seems, but that's really weird. Yeah, it's. Okay. It's just a messed up model. Uh, these ones are not, though, so we can collect these contaminated wells. We need three buckets of water, so collect the quarantine buckets. There we go. And we gotta keep working our way in. Defeat Ectoros. And more mutated people. And get guards' necklace. Kill aberrations and polykinds. Gather their belongings. So we can certainly do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fire blast. Okay. Woo. That was pretty close. They definitely got some uh, hits in on us. Come now. I'm beginning to think that that... Uh, Increased casting speed for our fire blast may be very worth it. So if we respec in the future, uh, you know, switch our glyphs around, that may be certainly one to get. Dead polykine. Fortunately, they seem to take almost no damage to kill. Ooh, a new... Oh no, it's still Shad Metal. We've been gathering Shad Metal for a while, but Shad Metal is exciting, I suppose. So I think we want to head this way. We need to kill some more of these. Since we still need seven... Yeah, no, eight. No, seven. More. I think so. Let's see. Nope, nine more. Now, now we need seven more guards' necklaces. Terrakius. Is this a named? Oh no, he's not named. There's lots of Terrakiuses. I guess Terrakius is a title or something. Slaying the Selvaras. The one thing that's a little unfortunate about the resetting cooldown is that it's unpredictable. Um, well, I shouldn't say it's unpredictable. It's very predictable. It happens 30% of the time, but you never know that it's going to happen, which makes it kind of unpredictable. And so it makes chaining a rotation for maximum damage a little more troublesome. Since I don't know if I should keep pushing the, uh... <laughs> this one just, like, ran around behind me to jump on me. Bam. Take that, you sneaky thing. Alright, another Terrakius, and then... Ah! There's Ectoros over there. Come on, don't run away from my spell. Alright, good. We've gotten 12 of the Slay the Mutated People requirements done. And 
we need six more Selvaris. This is Slade. I don't know what exactly a Selvaras is, but maybe it's just the term for the infected. Alright, good. Ectoros is dead. We can gather up this Essence of Ice and kill off uh, another Terrakius. Uh, we'll kill a few more Terrakiuses, then we gotta go back and get more guards' necklaces. I'm really liking this zone, though. It's a nice change up from. Uh, Winter Wonderland, even if, uh, even if that zone was nice, which it usually was, um, it at least looked very nice. After a while, I was like, alright, it's time to move on to something a little less wintry. And the, the Citadel of Torment was less wintry, granted, um, but since it was still in the same area, I was still kind of like, ugh. I don't want to keep questing here for another 10 episodes or something, you know? I kid, it, it would not be 10 episodes, I don't think, but, you know, spending too long in one place starts to get uh, boring no matter, you know, what you're doing. Jump back, shield up. Nope, shield up. There we go. All right, good. Dead Selvaros. Oh, mounted, dismounted, there we go. I sometimes have a tendency to toggle my mount too quickly or whatever. All right, there we go. And we should only need one more if we can hit him. Nice. Alright, slaying the Selvaros is completed. So... Good, good, good. Oh, no, that guy's not asleep. Nice. Perfect. Alright, so we were able to... kill off a bunch of his comrade guys, and get them all at once, and then kill him without too much trouble. Come on, stay in the circle, stay in the circle. Or not. That's fine, too. And bam. Oh, wow. That <laughs> that actually got us the last four guards necklaces we needed. So we should be able to head over this way. Carefully. Avoid the rest of these guys. Or not. We're stuck behind a cart. Alright, there we go. And if we head out this way, we should find the people we need to turn our quest into. It's kind of nice the way you turn your quest into somebody on the far side of whatever you've done, rather than having to go back through everything to turn it in. Oh. Well, hello. Fellow otter things, or raccoons, or whatever you are. Narpa. Let's see. Freya's Fury. Okay, destroy a stone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. New quest. And thank you. Alright, so. Gather worn clothing and go get Morbolith fragments. Definitely something to do. Uh, but, due to the fact that we are just about out of time here, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode, so thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time, and uh, we'll continue to hunt Morbolith fragments and worn clothing then. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Bye.